All right, everyone. Welcome back. Today is going to be chainsaw review and what chainsaw is right for you. I'm going to be going over these three saws I got. My opinions on them and what saws I recommend for your situation and my, based on my experience. So we're going to start out with a smaller one here. This is a Echo. Let's see. Where's the number? On the back. This is a Echo CS2511T pruning saw, I think is what they call it. Loud enough to where you can do stuff one-handed, even though it's not recommended, especially by OSHA. Um, this is a 25cc unit. This is good, you know, it's meant for uh, guys like up in trees, you know, they can attach it to their belt, a little saw to, you know, cut the limbs off while they're up in the tree or whatever. But it works great for a little saw if you're just, you know, a landscaper, you need something to, you know, get through some small bushes and trees or you're doing like an overgrown bush cleanup and the hedge trimmer ain't going to cut it down, so you need a chainsaw to do it. So that's a good little saw for that. I picked this thing up a few months ago. I use it all the time for small stuff. Haven't had an issue with it starting or nothing. It's a great little unit. It retails for about 400 bucks. That's basically what I paid for it, but it's worth it to me. It's an X series, so it ain't gonna fail on you. Um, that's the second saw I bought. This one here, Old Reliable. It's called Old Reliable because it's the oldest one I got, and it's reliable. This is a CS590 Echo Timber Wolf. This is a very good saw. Um, Kind of a little bit bigger than what I needed to start out with, but you know, you live and you learn. Now I got a, you know, this saw that I can use for bigger stuff. Um, but this thing works great. The only issue I had with it recently um, was it was hard to start and it would act like it wanted to kick over, but it wouldn't. And what the issue was, a lot of people think it's flooding, which is part of it if you keep pulling on it for 30 minutes like I did but the main issue was the idle screw came a little loose and so it didn't have an you know enough you know I guess rpms or idle to kick over so because what happened was if I had a buddy hold the throttle while I started it or pulled on it it would start and it'd stay running as long as I give it throttle so a lot of the YouTube videos I watched when I was trying to fix it myself was saying you need to blow out the thing and do clean out the spark plug and stuff because you flooded it, which is partially true if you keep, you know, like trying to start it and it doesn't start and you pull it like 20 times like I did. If you're having issues, if it's acting like it's about to start but just won't, you know, start, turn your, uh, which I think it's behind this cover, um, Turn your idle screw, which I think is marked with a T, I think is what they do. High, low, yeah, T, they call it, I don't know why they call it T, I call it an idle screw, or uh, whatever. Turn it about quarter of a turn, or just turn it slowly until it, you know, starts up. That's how I fix that one. Or the, me and my buddy fixed it after we got to thinking about it. Um, so, Good saw, just had a little issue with it, but it starts up perfectly fine, even if it sits for a few months, you know? Um, so it's a great saw. This one, the most recent one, I picked up along with that one, because I picked that one the same time I got that one, basically. This is Echo CS620P. This is basically that one's big brother, because it's, for my research, and for my, you know, Nick sense, this saw and this saw are basically the same exact saw besides one, the bar, which you can get different size bars for each one. That's a 24 inch bar. That's like a 18 or 20 inch bar. And you can get a 24 inch bar for that one as well, this Timberwolf. The only difference between these two beside the bar is one, the handle is metal. This one I believe has a better coil in it it also, I think, has a little bit bigger of a carburetor. 
And some people say it has a little bit bigger of a piston. From my research, I don't think it does um, because they say this one's like a little bit bigger CC. What CC means from my research, my experience, I may be wrong, let me know. CC is cubic centimeters. That's how much space, square centimeters, the engine takes. So you can have the same size piston as the other one and have a bigger coil and a bigger, you know, carburetor because it's taking up more space. That's what I think it means. So I think it has the same piston, same everything. It's just, since it has a little bit bigger of a carburetor and a little bit bigger of a coil, it gets in the 60cc class because it's a little bit more cubic centimeters. But let me know if I'm wrong about that. But this is basically the more pro version of that one. And you can get the, I think the PW version of this, which where it has like a full wrapped handle instead of just, you know, the handle where it's against that, you know. Um, but I don't really need that. So these are both good saws. Haven't used that one much. Use that one quite a lot. And I use that one quite a lot. Now, which one is right for you? Um... If you're a landscaper, you're starting out, you need a little quick saw to, you know, cut out some bushes, cut down small trees. This saw will get you through that, no problem. All right. If you're on a farm, you do a lot of farm stuff, which I do over at Arkansas with my dad sometimes. That saw is a great fit for that too. It's a good fire cutting, firewood cutting saw as well, but it's a bit heavy for that. So, you know, if you got like really thick logs, you want the power for like, firewood cutting then that'd be a good saw for that too but that's mainly like designed to compete with steel's farm boss line of saws so but really good saw um this guy same sort of situation with that one except it's you know has a little bit better parts in it like i said um if you're cutting like big logs like if you're doing like making like little slabs out of them or something or you got one of those chainsaw mills uh, that'd be a really good saw for it, for that. And then as well, if, like you're starting to get into the pro stuff where you're, you know, cutting trees down like every day to profession, that's a good saw to get into as well as that one. Like I said, it's just not an X series saw. Um, that one is X series. So these are the three saws I have experience with. Um, my first chainsaw I had was actually my dad's that he never used anymore, which is a pull on but I can never get it running. So I just, that's when I bought that first saw in the middle there. And, you know, I wasn't gonna deal with a, you know, cheap saw. And I just decided to get, you know, a new saw. So that's my two cents on these. Let me know if I'm wrong on any of the information I gave um, or advice I gave. Let me know y'all's opinions. This is just from my experience and what I recommend, um, so. Hope y'all enjoyed this quick little video about chainsaws. Um, hope I helped y'all make a decision on something, a chainsaw you're wanting to get. Till then, take care guys. I'll see y'all in the next video.